smart. So what, everyone thinks you're smart. What makes you so smart, Kathy? Wow. Gluten wise. Gluten wise, okay? <laughs> I did the world's first gluten free TV show. Really? When was this? Yes. So I did this a year and a half ago, and at the same time, I did the first gluten free cookbook ever done with quote on blue chefs and nutritionists. And of course, you did the smart way. I did it the smart way. Um, I've been a nutritionist for 16 years, so it was the first time chefs and nutritionists came together and made a so what inspired you to write the book or get into a gluten-free focus? I've been a celiac since I was 12 years old, and in being celiac, I noticed there weren't a lot of good gluten-free recipes, so I thought, you know what, the world needs a TV show, the world needs a gluten-free cookbook. What, just like that? Just like that. You just thought? Yeah. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Ottawa, Ontario, uh, or in a small town just outside of Ottawa called Long Sioux, small little country town. And you just thought, on top of your head, no TV experience, or just, we got to do it that way. Why not? It's kind of fun to do the impossible, says Walt Disney. It's I like fun. the way you think. That is smart. Okay, tell me more about uh, what you got, about your show. So, TV shows are amazing. I am doing constant gluten-free recipes. I actually now sell the show on my website, which is fun. I'm doing protein pancakes. I, everything is low glycemic. I don't have any sugar. Everything is using whole foods. It's something that's never been done before. I use coconut flour. Travels, read them, you just made them out of your head, just like, you know, let's do a TV show, why not? Uh, well, I really truly believe everyone is born with a gift in this world. And my gift since I was four, you can actually, here I am when I was a little girl cooking at the age of three. Cooking at the age of three, there's the sign. TV show and book and everything else you've done on us. Healthy food back to basics. For example, would you recommend certain foods before you got on the gluten free stuff? Certain foods you recommend that really helps uh, you know brain function and memory Absolutely. and cognitive? I'm a huge fan of hemp, huge fan of chia. I eat a lot of salmon, a lot of dark leafy greens, quinoa. I always eat food back to basics, so think outside of the package. So were you doing this as a nutritionist 16 years ago or whatever? I was doing 16 years ago, and I was seeing as my clients would come, there was a lack of good quality recipes. There was healthy recipes, but they tasted terrible. They had that gluten-free so taste, right? They were right? horrible. So I went, taste. I went to the director of Cordon Bleu, and I said, if I can get you to like my gluten-free, no-sugar, low-glycemic recipes, I can get anyone to like this food. That's what I did. Well, you really, we got more than anyone. Uh, you understand you're one of the, you're the spokesperson for the gluten-free uh, festival here. That's or right. I'm known as North America. Just give a sneak preview of some of the interesting recipes oh. there. That, uh... Well, I, this is my world famous brownie. I have people pay me a lot of money just to be able to use this in their restaurants and say that it's from me. Oh. My double fudge brownie recipe. Double fudge. Using black beans, coconut black oil. Beans? Yes, I know. So very nutritious. Very nutritious. Without that black bean aftertaste. Low glycemic, high in fiber. Wow. Also So unique about that. Because it's one of the few ways that you can get 25 grams of protein first thing in the morning without using disgusting protein powders. I'm using all whole foods. Kids love it, and it revs up your metabolism and stabilizes your blood sugar for the day. That gives you way more energy, and you lose weight. Now, how 
easy, Catherine, is it uh, to switch to a regular or traditional diet to a gluten-free diet? Is it, do you make it easy or oh, yeah. is it challenging to begin with? It's incredibly simple. And I always tell people, go back to basics. You just go back to basics the way food was intended to be. That's what I tell my friends that come from other countries to Canada. I say, listen, eat the foods that your grandparents That's ate, right. not your parents. Because right. food for them was medicine. That's it. Absolutely. Okay. So what's unique about this show? Let's talk about the show now. What's, what's unique so, about It's the first in Toronto. It's the first ever. This is so packed. It's packed. I can't. I know. It's very challenging to do interviews because they're busy yeah. cashing in a lot of stuff here. 30 minute wait up just to get into the show. A huge turnout. People don't understand, but it's like literally elbow, elbow, to, elbow to elbow inside here. Okay. I just go to go to the bathroom and I get mauled. <laughs> right? I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. What other unique features here at the show you like to kind of mention? Other unique features are everyone's getting a really fun grab bag. Each uh, vendor is educating their, the, anyone that comes to their table, giving samples. So it's a great way to be able to try out different new gluten-free foods. And then there's cooking demos and speakers from the top. Smart shopping. Yes, exactly. Okay. Now, about this book, yeah, yes. I, I noticed you were signing autographs. Yes. Uh, what kind of um, stories do you have on that? For autographs, I have people that want to just have my autograph. There's kids, kids. So I think Lisa. We have a blog. Why don't we just talk to uh, the lady here that's uh, helping me with that? Lisa. That's an interesting story Lisa. to hear. Yeah. Lisa. Yes. Lisa. So this is a lady that I did the blue. That, uh, whose booth you're hanging around in. And why, why, are you in this, why are you in this booth, for example? Listen, I am Kathy, in this why are you hanging out this because booth? Because this woman is absolutely incredible, and what she has done for the gluten free community is amazing. I, well, I should be saying that about Kathy. Absolutely. She's done, I mean, she's an amazing gluten free directory, and we, you know, I support people that I love, not because I'm paid to. Okay, now, I noticed earlier you had. Um, before we're shooting, and we were just doing a little Q and A with Kat here, and, and uh, Lisa was interrupting our conversation with some uh, autograph requests in yes. your book, right. and I heard some very interesting stories. Uh, tell me about them, Lisa. So we had a request from a mother. Her daughter is two years old. She was diagnosed with celiac disease at eight months, and she basically she purchased our guide for her two-year-old daughter who has celiac disease, and she's really excited about you know learning more information on how she can help her daughter with her diet. Wow. So it's been pretty amazing. So the word's really getting out there to really educate the people about It's food. amazing because to be diagnosed at eight months old today is fabulous. In the past, even today, I mean, so many people are going undiagnosed or misdiagnosed. So to get a diagnosis young is fantastic. Okay, great. Thanks. So just to wrap up here, Kathy, I mean, I can go on and on and on. And I know you're busy here, so I had yeah, to pull you away from a customer because you got to wrap up here. Uh, your website, Kathy, to more, to more smart, smart information. LiveTheSmartWay.com, a Facebook page, LiveTheSmartWay.com.